Hello, front desk lady here with some more front desk horror stories. So, last night was my first night back after my wreck. It's been almost a month and I was dreading it. I almost made it a whole night without any incidents. So, about 6 30 in the morning, ma'am, the microwave's not working. So, I go over there and it's not working. I, look, I saw one trip to breaker, but it didn't work. Luckily, it was a young guy using a microwave and he didn't mind moving it because my co-worker said try a different plug and that was it. So then, 10 minutes before my relief comes, 10 minutes, guy comes, ma'am, um, I got walk, I need you to come see this. He didn't say what it was. He says, I need you to come see this. I'm like, oh Lord, I'm thinking bugs, first of all, bugs, mold, whatever. So, um, I go there and there's water dripping in the light fixtures outside of his room. The water's running. I hear water running. In his room, it's dripping out of the heater in the bathroom. It's dripping. I'm like, oh, poop. So we go get some buckets. My co worker's coming in, and you know, I'm talking to her about it. She walks in. She goes over there by him. So I go upstairs to look at the rooms above his. Well, somebody, uh, I guess, went to the bathroom right before they left, and the toilet got clogged, and it was just running, and I didn't take a picture of it. I should have. I do have a couple of pictures. I should have taken a picture of me to show you, so all that, as soon as I walked up to the room from the outside hallway, it's not but water, right? Not but water outside the room. That I do have a picture of. I go in, and I notice it's the toilet. And it was a room that had two king beds. That water, it had ran so much, that water was past, almost past the first bed in the room. So, and I told my co-worker this morning, I don't know if I've said this in the past, but the reason I have this job is because a relative of mine, it's his girlfriend. So, whether I like it or not, I need to stick with it for at least a while. I can't I can't make her look bad and flake out, but I told her this morning, I said, I'll tell you again, if I had known this was the shape that this place is in, I would have never agreed to work here. You just don't know how embarrassed that makes me feel about things being dirty or things not being done, because it, it, it's all things that are in people's hands to do. It's not like act of God, act of nature, things that you can't control. These are all things that you could pay people to, re to repair. Uh, housekeeping on a daily basis doesn't do stuff. Replace them. of us front desk people because there's only four because nobody wants to work there. So I'm looking through the book and on one of my past videos, if you wonder what I'm talking about, you can go back and look at it because I was very fired up about this. I had a guy being very ugly to me. I am the overnight person. I am the 11 at night to 7 in the morning person. I don't book groups. I have nothing to do with the group situation. I barely even check anybody in. If there is a room available in my shift, I will rent it. Not many people seek rooms after 11 o'clock at night. So, if you go back and watch that video, you'll, you'll see what happened in that situation. So, I'm reading through this, this, this book, this kind of diary thing. I see that he had been fired. And I'm like, I wrote karma next to it. And that he had given me a really bad time right before I had left. Right before I had taken leave from my accident. So when my co-worker came in and I was telling her I was reading through the book. And I saw that, that he had got fired. Because she had come in, been working there 12 years. My relative's girlfriend. So she wasn't having any of this bull crap. She kind of put him in his place. And plus she's old.
he was their supervisor. And they come in town to do work and stuff. And they'll usually have 10, 20 rooms booked. And he was their supervisor. Come to find out, he had been given $10,000 for the workers' needs. And um, he couldn't prove where that money went or where he spent it on. So his ass got fired. Which is good. Because like I said... You know, like I said in the other video, I have never been talked to like down, down like that in my whole life. Not even when I was in school, when a teacher would put you in your place if you were being bad or whatever. But anyway, so my first night back, complete, complete disaster. Uh, 30 minutes before I leave, all hell broke loose. But you know what? I was out the door 15 minutes after my shift. It's going to be something that they need to deal with because... If, if the owners don't care, why should I care? Why should I care? You know, uh, the only thing I can basically do when guests complain is give them another room or give them their money back. That's it. I'm not going to check these rooms anymore. I'm not going to go do this and that. These are all things that I should not have to do as a front desk person. If you have housekeeping doing their job, if you have... Uh, all of the maintenance that needs to be done when things are broken, you ha have all of that done and you doing your job as an owner to make sure this place is decent, I shouldn't have to be doing any of this. What, what, what's crazy to me about all of it, and you know, I'm new to the whole front desk uh, hotel situation, is that this, this hotel is part of a chain. So you would think that people would be complaining like up the chain I mean if we claim to be you know a blank hotel you know I'm not going to tell you mm -hmm. the name of, of it but if you claim to be part of a chain and you call the 1-800 number and say here's the place I stayed and here's what happened you would think that the chain that this guy who owns this place is representing would, would come down on him, maybe send somebody to come and look and see these issues, you know, because we don't, when you book with rewards points, us at the desk, we have nothing to do with the points. You have to call the chain themselves, go online, call them. They make the reservations. They apply those points. So if you want to get your points back, you're talking to them. You're talking to the 1-800 number. You know, but anyway, that's my story. Be getting new stories. It's a shame. It's a shame that I even have to make these stories. But anyway, I'm off. Gonna try to enjoy the rest of my day. Bye.